discuss the log amplifier. Log amplifier will give us the output voltage, which is which will be the logarithmic of the input voltage to the inverting terminal and to the feedback path. The transistor is used. The emitter of the transistor is connected to the output and collector is connected to the inverting terminal and input signal is connected to again the inverting terminal the non-inverting is grounded thus becomes the inverted op amplifier virtual ground because the positive terminal is at ground voltage so here the collector current will pass and there will be the emitter current emitter current will be approximately equal to the collector current and all of the current you know Collector current uh, and emitter current, they will be approximately equal. Base of the transistor is grounded and collector is at the virtual ground voltage. Okay? That means the, that means the, now the effective terminal is emitter. In the transistor will act like, act like a diode and here the voltage will be VE a meter voltage with respect to the ground okay and IE varies exponentially with the variation of the variation of the VE IE in a meter current it will it will vary and you know exponentially with uh, the emitter voltage like uh, the diode and uh, it is it, it will act the transistor act like a diode you know the diode equation like that here i is the emitter current is equals to the saturation current reverse saturation current you know they get e raised to power um, e raised to power Q into V E or K T minus 1. I E I S is the reverse saturation current approximately 10 raised to power minus 13 ampere, very, very, very small. Q S is a, Q is a charge, Q is Boltzmann constant, T is temperature. And for a given temperature, you know, Q, K and T are constants. So again, let us write the diode equation and let it be written for a transistor. Okay, now IE and uh, IC they are approximately equal. And moreover, E raised to power Q V E V E O K T. This factor is very much greater than uh, one, so one is neglected as compared to. E raised to power Q V E O K T. So one is neglected here. Okay. Across R1, on one side the voltage is VA, other side the voltage is GU. So I see it. So collector current is written across R1. So I see equals to the voltage difference VI upon R1. Okay, there's a current, collector current, written across R1.
from the figure it is clear that v e equals to minus v naught just it is very clear from the figure okay I know what I want into IS is it in as is a distance into current okay and uh, resistance into current is the voltage and it is we will call it V reference this what is named as V reference right okay Hence, the output voltage is the negative of the logarithm of input voltage provided V reference remain constant only then. If V reference is constant, then output voltage will be proportional to logarithm of, of the input voltage where the V reference is R1 into Is. Okay. V reference is equals to R1 into Is. I guess the reverse situation current and it creates a problem. You know, in the emitter situation current, it is not a constant quantity. It varies with the transistor. It varies with transistor to transistor. It also varies with the temperature. If IS become a function of temperature, then it will create a problem because then we cannot say V reference, which is R1 into IS, is a constant quantity. So logarithmic amplifier will not give an accurate result in that case. Okay. So we need a stable reference voltage. Okay. The problem that R I S is not constant. This problem can be eliminated by using the four ops uh, shown in the circuit below. We are going to draw the logarithmic amplifier using four ops. This is one operation amplifier. It act like a logarithmic amplifier. It along it act as like a logarithmic amplifier. Input of voltage is applied to the inverting terminal. To feedback part, a transistor is uh, used. The transistor is used like the collector is attached here. This is the emitter terminal. At the output, this is the second op minus plus and positive is grounded okay then here the negative terminal here there is some voltage vr is we are fixed voltage you know vr is fixed voltage okay this is r1 okay again a transistor is used for the feedback path this you know like a base is grounded emitter Connector is attached to the negative terminal, this is the emitter connected to the output. Okay. There are two ops. Here the voltage V1, V2. Let we these voltages are applied to a difference amplifier. Okay, there's a difference amplifier and V1 and V2 becomes the inputs. Okay. Now minus plus and uh, the output is here so the feedback path resistances are same so this is just a difference amplifier okay this is the last op it it is here the as a non-inverting amplifier this this is now output and uh, there are two resistors okay there's a negative terminal inverting connected here the R2 and the RTC the resistors okay this is our A 
this is our amplifier A1, op amplifier A1, this one is A2, this one is A3, this one is A4. Okay. Here, here output is V0, here V0 compensated, okay, Q1 and Q2, Q1 and Q2 two transistors, here is the input voltage, this acts as a logarithmic amplifier, this also acts like the logarithmic amplifier, this one is the difference amplifier, and the last one is, okay, the non-inverting amplifier, right? This one is non inverting. So four ops. This is a general formula for the logarithmic amplifier. Like output is equals to minus k t over q. Logarithmic of the input voltage. Logarithmic of the input voltage divided by the V reference. Where V reference is, you know, R into IS where there is a problem of IS which changes with the temperature. Output of the first op E1 it is V1 minus KT or Q logarithmic of the input voltage which is VI divided by R1 into IS similarly V2 second op there's only difference that uh, for second of the input voltage is VR, not VI. Rest is the same. Now let me assume that IS is same for Q4 of Q1 and Q2. I is same for the two ops, I mean I is same for the two transistors. Q1 and Q2, okay. The third op, it is the difference amplifier. It will give the difference of difference output, difference of the two inputs, V1 and V2, because it is having the same resistors R and R at the inverting and at the non-inverting terminals. So output is simply V2 minus V1. Just solving the expression, substituting for V1 and V2 and uh, simplifying, keeping in mind that logarithmic of A minus logarithmic of B is logarithm of A or B. Okay, then output becomes after the third op, okay, this is your way of getting output after the third op. Now we're coming to the contribution of last op, fourth one. You know, we are is and VR is related with the external voltage source and it is a constant quantity. So here the output voltage depends upon the device. But there is a still a problem. That the, in the numerator of the out, out, the numerator of the right hand side, it it uh, still containing a term that is a temperature. No doubt, uh, from the denominator, the dependent temperature dependent part has been removed, but there is still temperature in the numerator of the right hand side. So that's why now we are using the last op. That how to remove this term also. Last op will act as a non-inverting, you know, here. 
the output of A4 is the last output V not compensated. It is 1 plus R2 upon RTC into the input voltage, which is the output of the third op. This one is the output of the third op, and it becomes the input for the fourth one, and is applied to the plus terminal of uh, last op. This result is very interesting because uh, right inside having the two parameters in the numerator there is temperature in the denominator there is RTC. RTC is temperature sensitive resistor. Temperature sensitive resistance whose uh, resistance value changes with the change in temperature and because it is positive temperature coefficient Positive coefficient temperature mean as the temperature increases, its value also increases. So, what happens? The increase in T in the numerator is compensated by the increase in RTC from the denominator part. So, hence, the temperature effect is uh, neglected or removed. It is now removed with using the fourth op, okay, because there is an increase on uh, in the numerator part as well as if from the denominator part, and the, if the increase is same, so the effect is removed. So hence, our logarithmic amplifier is now more accurate or more precise as uh, it only depends, it gives the output which is the logarithmic of the input. Okay.